Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Castellano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. We are following developing news tonight surrounding the deadly officer-involved shooting last Thursday in Jamesville that left a 17-year-old dead. And News Channel 9's Adrian Smith joining us now with more. Adrian, what kind of information have police released for the first time since the shooting Thursday? Christy and Jeff, that's right. Four days later, and we received a joint statement from the Onondaga County Sheriff's Office, State Police, and the DeWitt Police Department earlier today. Originally, police said Albaum pointed what appeared to be an airsoft gun at, officer, at officers before they shot their weapons. But it turns out Albaum was armed with an air gun, not an airsoft gun, and here's a stock photo of it. It is made to look like a handgun and shoot steel BBs. Now, police say a total of four officers from three different agencies fired their service weapons. As police were called to the scene, dispatchers warned officers that the teen had a history of mental illness and sometimes carried an air gun. Now, because this is an officer-involved shooting, the investigation will either be led by the district attorney or attorney general's office. Onondaga County DA Bill Fitzpatrick says he's waiting to hear back from the Attorney General on jurisdiction. Community members are planning a silent justice for Judson vigil on Wednesday night at 6, and the meeting location will be at the Firefighters Memorial Park on South State Street in Syracuse. Jeff and Christy.